Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to you. Going to be reading in a moment for the lovely Scorpio. So Scorpio, before I start, I'm going to be reading you on my um, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to be reading to you my meditative poetry in a moment of what I picked up with your energies this week. I'm also going to be at the very end of pulled out an old book of mine, I've had this over 20 years and it's called The Book of Answers and I just thought it'd be nice to add it in at the end this week where you can sit quietly, think of a question that you would like an answer on and then we'll just randomly stop at a page and see what uh, comes out as an extra message for you that way. So let me just read you what I had in your energy fields this week and it was everything is a battle and you are fed up of the fight People are getting you down with their negativity. Everything is too black and white. No fun or laughter. It's just miserable all the way. Start to paint your own rainbows and start to have your say. Scorps, I just felt you were weary. You were tired. You were trying your best. And somebody around you, and I think it's more than one person, has just been chipping away at your um, putting chinks in your armour and after a while when people start to criticise and they may be doing this in a positive vibe as in you know trying to protect you really um, and even so you know you can take on board what people say and they mean well and everything else but Scorpios have got this nature of why aren't I you know why am I failing Scorpios don't like to fail, they don't like to feel defeated, yet you've got to a stage, I feel, who I'm picking up with this week, you know what, it's like, oh, you're, like you're sticking yourself under the microscope and you're thinking, what am I doing wrong, really, what am I doing wrong, and I feel for some of my Scorpios as well, you sit there and you, you hear all these voices come in and they're saying things to you or they're advising you or they're, they're, they're not happy about this or they don't like how you've done this and one thing and another. And and then, like I say, you sit there thinking, well, what about all the good things that I've done? What about all the good points? You know what I mean? It's like people soon pick up on it. If you do something wrong, somebody, if you do something wrong, they're on you like a, a ton of hot bricks, but anything that you do good just goes by the wayside. Okay, it's like it's not really, you know, not really gr um, just taken for granted, really. It's like expected uh, sort of thing, but yeah. So, Scorps, it just felt you were fed up of the fighting. Okay, fed up of the negativity, fed up of the no fun. Everything's just been a battlefield, a real battlefield. So, with saying that, let's start shuffling the cards and see what comes out for the Scorpios. So, what do we want to hear? What do we want to see? Spirit, please bring out the cards on the table for me. What messages have we got for the lovely Scorpio this week? Scorpio, 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 I feel like I want one more spirit, can we have another card out for the battlefield of Scorps, what have we got going on, I'll just turn these cards over, got the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the devil you had this a couple of weeks ago and it was a warning sign i said it was a warning sign to say but i feel this time but last time it was about uh not paying attention to your own health and what have you but this time because i want to say the spider's legs are coming back in you're hurting yourself by thinking where am I going wrong okay where am I going wrong in this situation we've also got two spiders webs here in this picture and you're caught up Scorps in this metaphorical sense of 
you feel the restrictions are getting tighter and tighter upon you hence why we've got red in this card and i always work with color and red is a danger warning sign it could be to say don't be too hard on yourself but i feel it's others because there's two webs i feel like you're being inflicted by somebody else and it's wounding you what they say um hurts you within and you sit there thinking where have i got it so wrong because the two of cups comes out and this is where you you are battling with your own personality okay you're battling with your inner twin your inner soul and we've got red again and it's a red flag to you to say i know i know i do this i know i defend myself i know i don't like to be wrong i don't take criticism very well and you are very headstrong scorpio and you will sit there and as i say it's it's harming you but i also feel because there's two webs that somebody is spinning a web around you in saying these things and they may not intentionally meaning to you know offend they are trying to say it for your own good but even so to you scorps it's playing with your heart emotions and your heart strings okay again we've got red 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 a lot of red there and it's affecting you okay it's really sort of affecting you it's wounding you um deeply in your heart chakra and i feel somebody's trying to play with your heart strings as well in in some of the things they may say to you they may drop out little words or conversation and you think really did i just hear that right okay and it gets you thinking i'm going have i got this what they're telling me you know what they're sort of dropping out is this playing with my heartstrings trying to trying to raise my awareness of the king of cups because the king of cups here being a water element is your energy again and deep within you there's things going on around you that are affecting you emotionally really really emotionally and that you hide deep within you and is holding the ship as protection okay it's like he's trying to salvage the situation from going under very cryptic scorpio very very cryptic it's as though somebody around you may say you know what that ship has sailed and they may be having a u-turn on a situation and deep within you are thinking you're spinning a web somewhere else away from me and you don't think i can see this but i can because nothing doesn't um go unnoticed from a scorpio okay they are the best detectives ever um and if somebody is doing them wrong then they know they know hence why they are they have protected that ship from stormy waters and they are still holding on to that protecting it yet deep within here there's things going on under the surface that another party or part is think you are unaware of but you know scorpio you sense it you feel it okay very very cryptic so let's have a look at your hidden psyche what is going on with your hidden psyche this week scorps what else have we got for scorpio
and it's clarity. So this is your deep inner psyche saying, right, get some clarity on this situation. Get some clarity on what's going on around you. I also say healing as well. They're telling me to say, look at the green in this and the spiritual healing. Time to go within. Hence why it may be why the spider's legs are attacking the Scorpio. Time to go within. Time to address these issues that are playing on your heartstrings, that are making you feel as though you're being split in two emotionally. I just feel some of you are sensing as though you're being left in the dark about something, but you know this. You, you see it, okay? You see it, Scorps, because you have got this sixth sense. So let's have a look how the universe wants to play out for you this week, Scorpio. Okay? What else have we got for Scorps? And we've got this card here. Don't be the fool, the universe is saying. Play to your own tune, it is also saying. And somebody is singing off a different hymn sheet. Okay. Somebody is singing off a different hymn sheet. We've also got red in this card, look, there's red um, beads hanging down here from this mandolin or whatever the instrument may be. Something needs to be fine-tuned. We've got the yin and yang symbol in this card and it's getting balanced back in on a relationship, getting balanced back in on your life in general. I feel like I want to clarify that card for you, Scorpio. Let's just get a clarifier. What else have we got for Scorpio Spirit? And we've got Wizard of Awareness. And the Wizard of Awareness is like your energy, you're a wise wizard, you're a wise, in-tuned person. And you sit there knowing <laughs> what's going on behind you. We've got three elements here. It's like two's company, three's a crowd. So you are sitting there contemplating, I know there's something going on behind my back. I'm not a fool to know this, hence why your inner spirit is saying get some clarity on it, you need some. You need to ask questions and you need to get the truth on something, Scorpio, you need to get the truth on something. So let's have a look at your animal spirit card, see what comes out in those this week. What else have we got? For Scorpio, I also feel as well, because um, it's three of pentacles, I always look at these as pentacles, it could be money waiting to come in for you, unexpected money as well. Just sort of hanging in the balance. And three is important. You could have a document with the word three in it, an offer with the number of three in it, okay? So that also is key. The 3rd of June could also be an important date. So we have, wow, alchemical sign of fire, the lion. Oh, and the alchemical sign of water, the frog. It is basically coming in to say you need to stay strong. Because prepare yourself. And a frog can adapt to its surroundings, it can live in water for a period of time, it can live on land for a period of time, 
it's an amphibian where it goes between the two and you you are adaptable to any situation but I feel this is like a pre-warning sign here for you to say something is going to start to rain on your parade and to be strong here when that news comes in because I feel like the clarification and the clarity that you are going to find out you will have half expected it anyway but it's not nice to you know be left out cold in the rain again because that's where I feel some of you are going to find yourself being in a situation of oh here we go again here it go here comes the deluge again and it's saying hold on to your strength with a lion okay I also want to say you can weather this storm for some of you hence we go back to the boat here with all this turbulence going on and it's like he's protecting the ship and it's like say you you know yeah it's going to be choppy waters there's going to be some unexpected twists and turns along the way but you will get through this you've got the strength to get through it and the wisdom to do so with the wizard of awareness so let's have a look at your messages from your uh, spirits guides and angels are this week then what have we got for the lovely scorpios this week out of spirits guides and angel messages please i just feel don't let the rot set in i always look at that card as well even though it's a mushroom i just feel it's like spots of rust um don't let the rot set in on a situation scorpio and we've got new direction coming in on the one card i'll just grab your other one from spirit else have you got please for scorpio And the other card we've got is Seek. Oh, wow. I'll read this one first. New Direction. And he said the great big heart there. And we had, didn't we, um, the heart in the King of Cups. Something is upsetting you emotionally. Something is playing on your heartstrings. Something's hurting you within your heart as well. Where you feel somebody's not being honest um, with you. Okay. And it says, life may seem like a whirlwind at the moment, yet there is a divine order to the present circumstance. What may appear as chaos is often angelic forces of the universe at work. After the storm clears, you will be steered in a new direction, a time of renewed health, joy and abundance. Now that's a positive outlook, isn't it? And we've got gold in this card, like a yellowy gold, and that is, you know, a lovely colour warmth coming back in happier sunnier times and didn't i say in your poetic words of no fun or laughter it's just been miserable all the way but it's going to change scorpio okay once you get the clarity on something once you're brave enough to ask the questions grab the ball by the horn so to speak then things will start to come back in your favor hence why spirits are saying you may not have all the answers you may not be able to see everything clearly right now you're feeling it but you're not seeing why the power of spirit exists in all things everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit including you we are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another the message for you is you need to seek clarification you need to seek answers okay seek within you as well because some repairs need to be done on yourself. We don't always get it right, do we, Scorpio? And we do dig our heels in and we can be stubborn and we can defend because, you know, we like to be right and we like to help as much as we can. But we learn by our mistakes, okay? And it may be that you do need to bring the ship uh, into dock to make some repairs deal with the rot setting in get some clarity on what's going on so i'm going to grab the book of answers quietly think of a question you would like some sort of guidance on and i will randomly stop at a page and see what comes out for you okay so what is going on for scorpio what is it they want to know and give me some guidance oh book of answers give me some guidance 
it is something you won't forget and depending on what you asked for okay or what you asked about it could mean if somebody crosses you or hurts you it's like to say you know what I'll and Scorpios do they never they never forget and they never forgive very rarely the Scorpios that I know you know they, they may just let it pass by but deep 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 within them it's something they never forget and they never forgive and it just brings out warning bells really of here we go again is somebody going to pull the rug from under your feet somebody who you've cared for or been there for do you know what I mean and it's like they turn the tables on you and then you sit there thinking oh here we go again you know the trust was there and everything else it's something you won't forget whatever it is that you've asked Scorps it's something you won't forget so my lovelies I hope you can take something from that message don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs because there's other questions you could ask and get answers from the book of answers so I'm tired of these cards but they seem to have all gone a bit on the old I think it's gone with your energy it's all like collapsed them oh, that's how I feel oh Scorpio I want to give you a big hug massive big hug but yeah until next week my lovelies you take care of yourself bye then